Miracles fall like healing rain. We do emphasize practice and taking the steps. Lisa and I were talking about that this morning, that, that it's very important to take the steps. But the reason a lot of people come and work in our communities or work with us in terms of mind training is because somewhere deep inside they know that there is a mind training. There is some discipline of mind that the spiritual journey does involve. And it's like just giving yourself little bits of permission to experiment with those steps, to tune into what they are. It's not so much important what you're doing, but it's tuning in to being done through. So you can practice with simple tasks, it could be basic kind of things, and then you undo this identification with the doer, so you're not constantly evaluating yourself. Did I do it right? Did I do it good enough? Was it pleasing? Did they approve? You know, the world is set up to be like an external projection of this fear-based belief that I'm not good enough, that I'm not worthy enough of love. So, that's why when we go through what seems to be job situations and relationship situations, there's this uneasiness underneath, which is, am I worthy of love, am I good enough? And then the characters just reflect out the doubts. You know, if we were aware of our Christ Self, we would have a good laugh at this world and all of the images, but when you're identified with the ego, then those characters seem to play out and act out those little doubts, little self-doubts. You know, did I do it good enough? Are they pleased? Was there a good evaluation? You know, seems like the more and more I've watched this world, I just, whether it was different job situations, it was always about evaluation and feedback. You know, even this uh, concert, or this conference that I did with Cindy uh, in Cleveland, they had all these, they said, make sure you fill out your feedback form, and then all the, all the attendees and the participants have to evaluate the speakers, and wouldn't it be a great state of mind where you just come back inside where you are, have transcended evaluation? that you've transcended the good and the bad, the positive and the negative, where you can just be authentically you flowing in the spirit without any concern for evaluation. I've been doing these spontaneous gatherings uh, and course groups and conferences and all these kinds of things for, for a couple decades now, and I've just noticed only recently with The Course in Miracles as we're starting to get into can you come? That's always a nice question. Yes. Uh, here's the contract. Now we're getting into contracts <laughs> with the Course in Miracles. It's like you can't live in two worlds. And this course is a course in trust. That's what I loved about traveling around and going all these places is I would just show up and Nobody would have expectations of me, I wouldn't have expectations of them. We'd give all the glory to God and just let it, let us be showered and blessed in the attitude of God's love. And now it's more and more it's like contracts, sign a contract. A contract is just more like expectations put down in print. Your expectations are expectations. You fulfill your Role, we fulfill our role. Reciprocity, reciprocity. Even professional Course in Miracles conferences, reciprocity. When the Course is just saying, you can let go of that, you can let go into this deep flow, and you can snip the strings of thinking that you have to look what you're going to get back and just focus on the giving, on the shining, on the sharing, on the extending. How free that is! It's so simple. Really all you have to do is show up. And that's the most glorious thing, when you can just imagine all the situations of your life, even the ones that seem difficult, 
And all you are required to do is simply show up with purpose, show up in presence, and trust that everything will be taken care of. You don't have to figure it out ahead of time, you don't have to decide in advance what you're going to say, you don't have to decide in advance what you're going to do. It's all given, moment by moment by moment. How simple is that? How relaxing that is. If I need a word, ah, that will be given to me. If I need anything that will be helpful, whoosh, given, freely given. Holy Spirit doesn't like say, oh, okay, I'll give it to you, but you have to take out a loan. <laughs> it's given to you freely on the spot. No strings attached. No repayment necessary for the gift. Just give the gift. Ooh, that's fun. Imagine if somebody was just feeding you gifts all the time and you were just, your responsibility was just to give them. That's kind of cool. Oh, unending supply. Okay, here we go. Like a big Santa Claus bag that always is full. <laughs> you can keep pulling it out. Never empty. Yeah, that's what Jesus says in the Course. Open, by opening the storehouse of your mind, he says, your mind, he calls it a storehouse of miracles, and give them away. That you're just a bestower of miracles, a bringer of miracles. And it takes a little bit of a, a practice with it because we're so identified with concepts of being humans and, and living in a world of lack. But that seems to be the status quo, and now we're getting into this joy of giving the miracles away and being blessed by the giving. Miracles fall like healing.